you've got some potential. <laughs> Have a kind soul. Help an old man buy his next meal. You need it more than me. Here, take it. A generous gift. Thank you. What do they call you, stranger? I'm Alexios. And you? Just a simple beggar. I sailed from Persia to see the beauty of the Greek world. I can do many things, Persian, but I can't restore sight. Nor would I want you to. My blindness is a burden that the gods have given me to carry, and I will. Then what? Be my eyes. When I was a boy, an Athenian told me the most beautiful tales of your lands. I would love to hear them again. Would you go see the places I never was able to, and return to tell me the tale of your adventures? I'm not much of a storyteller, but I will be your eyes. I knew I sensed kindness in you. You've made this old Persian happy again. Don't thank me yet. What places do you wish you could have seen? Ah, my favorite tales were always of the Acrocorinth. The statues of Zeus, and Athena, the perch of the armored bird in Arcadia, and of course, the mysterious mound Taigetos. So tell me what you know about the statue of Zeus. Its great boat stood ready to punish the Kefalonians below. Or so I was told. I've seen Kefalonia. From the statue of Zeus. Tell me, is it still a place of great beauty? Yes, the island is beautiful. From the statue of Zeus, you can see the sea hitting the white beaches and mountains covered in green. But its people suffer because of the war. Ah, just how it was described to me. The gods simultaneously bless the land and curse the people. Even for gods, your gods are cruel, Miss Theos. Okay, I've told you what I remember. Now tell me about yourself. What's a Persian doing here? Persia and the Greek world are doomed to be opposites. In times of prosperity here, Persians always seem to suffer. And when you're at war with yourselves... Persians no peace? Indeed. My people prospered after King Xerxes was murdered. All except for me. A man tried to kill me with poison, which is how I lost my sight. I fled and arrived here. I find it hard to believe anyone would want you dead. You're very kind. Tell me another tale, then I'll tell you more of my past. There are many statues to Athena. Which one do you mean? In my mind, there is only one. A story always began. As we rounded the hilltops, we could see Athens bustling below us, and Athena above, matching our gaze. You'll be glad to know I've been to the statue of Athena at the Acropolis. Ah, if only I could have been there to feel her presence. Would you? Describe her to me. If Athens is a city of statues, then Athena is their guardian. She stands high above everything, on guard over the city. Yes, not just standing tall to protect Athens, 
but to serve as a reminder of the suffering those poor people endured during the invasion. Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named Darius. He was of a new creed of killers. Unlike any Persia had known, he was also the man hired to kill me. A killer of kings hired to kill a simple blind man. Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale, and I will too. The Acro Corinth? Don't tell me. It's in Corinthia. Smart guess. It is the most renowned temple to Aphrodite, your goddess of all life's most pleasurable trivialities. I've traveled to the Acro Corinth. From there, I could see all of Corinthia. Ah, I can only wonder at what the worshippers of Aphrodite do to pay her tribute. The Aterra keep the spirit of Aphrodite alive, usually well into the night. Exactly as your goddess deserves. When I was younger, I'd lie awake dreaming of what it would be like to go worship, of course. Now that's out of the way, you owe me a tale. You said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you too? He was. By my brother. Your brother? None of this is making any sense, old man. I trust you. So I will tell you. My brother and I are the last living sons of King Xerxes. Impossible. That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother wanted the throne and plotted my death. Now, I hide here, exiled, living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more, but first... Yes, yes, a tale for a tale. You did say Mount Aegyatos, didn't you? You sound like you know that place. I have heard tales of its appetites. They say the mountain feeds on the suffering of Spartans, so the people there offer their own children to the mountain god for sacrifice. That... Uh, that's not exactly right. I returned to Mount Aegyatos. Return? Tell me, did you meet the mountain god who devours Spartan children? The mountain is just a mountain like any other. What makes Taigetos a place of suffering is the people there. That is true of all the world's worst places. When I was a child, I could tell from the moment I met you that you carried the burden of suffering. Let it stay in the past. Now you tell me, King Artaxerxes. How can I believe your story? You don't exactly look like royalty. <laughs> well... That's the point. I am hiding. Show me proof. I could. You see, I knew a man named Themistocles. The Athenian general. I heard stories about him being ostracized from Athens. All the petty politics. He came to Persia to me, looking for refuge. I was king, but only a boy. He spent his days learning Persian and telling me stories of his home. Places like the Acrocorinth, Mount Taigetos. The places you wished you could see. I loved the tales and loved Themistocles like a father. He was kinder to me than Xerxes ever was. Tell me one last tale and I'll tell you why he hid his treasure. What do you remember about this armored bird in Arcadia? There's a beast made of armor jutting out from the mountainside, overlooking Lake Stymphalos and the undulating fields, stretching like waves on a golden sea all across Arcadia. If you'd like to hear about the bird, I could describe it to you. Nothing would make me happier. It's a majestic statue, built from the blades of fallen soldiers. It's so high above Stymphalos, and the golden fields below. Up there, I could forget there was a war. So it is as it was told to me. 
The bird commemorates Heraclitus' fight against chaos built on a place of calm. Hopefully, one draws out the best in the other. So, I've been to the five places the Mr. Cleese told you about in his tales. For that, my soul will be eternally grateful. As for my tale, Themistocles died peacefully in Persia, as one of us. I promise him I'd see the places he told me about. His stories will live on in me. And now you. And what of your story? I let the people believe Darius succeeded in killing me, so I could escape. Artaxerxes, there's something else you should know. Yes? My grandfather was Leonidas of Sparta. That means... Your father, King Xerxes, killed my grandfather. Then you are bound by blood to avenge him. Arshak Xerxes, false king! This Mystheos led me right to you! Time to finish what I started. Alexios, please! Stand behind me. I won't let you win! Artaxerxes, are you hurt? Despite being bound by honor to avenge Leonidas, you saved me. Thank you. I had no choice. That man wanted you dead. Must have been another one of your executioners. It was. If he doesn't return to Persia, my brother will send another. Then another. It's time this old man accepts his fate. You're a brave man, Artaxerxes. A trade I learned from Themistocles. Now, as for you, I owe you payment. Well, I did save your life, and I went on an adventure for you, your highness. You did, and in your retelling, I felt like Themistocles was speaking through you. For your reward, go to the tomb in Salamis where Themistocles hid his treasure. It will be near where he made his triumphant stand against my father's navy. The Mr. Cleese's treasure is in Salamis. I wonder what it could be.
So many boats. So many people. There must be enough food here to feed Cephalonia for a year. Right, 
todos. I should be extra careful in this area. is mentioned. It's real.